Head back. Hold on. For your safety, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. Welcome back to the podcast, Andrew, our director of projects and planning. First of all, I want to start with a, an adaptation of our icebreaker question, which is if you could add, could have added something to the park for 2024, what would it be and why? A, um, <laughs> a Vacoma family boomerang um, steel coaster. Oh, what a great answer. Oh, I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> all right. So... I've been thinking back to the origin of how the family coaster first began. So tell us about IAPA of, was it 2021? Yes, it was IAPA 2021. <laughs> that was your first IAPA, That correct? was my first IAPA. Um, we met with Vacoma. Um, a couple of us didn't make it. There wasn't the whole group, I don't think. Were I think it was just you, me, and Matt B. Okay, yeah. I think that, I feel like <laughs> a few more met, but... Yeah, so we met with them. I don't remember the Family Boomerang coaster for my APA. I remember a bunch of really intimidating coasters and I, my head was spinning. So <laughs> Matt B kicked things off asking about the biggest and baddest coasters. Yes, yep, yep. That sounds about like Matt B. I think threw this into the proposal. <laughs> yeah. So they, what I remember is actually Ricardo from Vacoma mm -hmm. uh, wanted to come out. And I'm not going to lie, there was a little bit of a like, hmm, okay, we'll sit through that. Mm -hmm. two hours and, and then move on so about a half hour that was in May of 22 mm -hmm. so about a half hour into that meeting it was very clear that things were going to be changing because they showed the family boomerang on a site in Poland I believe it was it was very mm -hmm. similar to ours and it was like whoa we gotta we gotta do this and then, so, the rest is history yes it was or yes it <laughs> was all right so tell us a little bit more about good great we can finally say it is it forever going to be Project Gravy Boat to you? It will always be Gravy Boat uh, <laughs> for me. Um, just like the Dorm uh, just, Compass Commons is yep. Project Dozer. The stickers <laughs> we will make, um, I, I hope, will be a um, little bit of good gravy, but it's definitely going to have to have the Gravy Boat um, sticker on it for our hard hats. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's been Gravy Boat for over two years, so it's going to be hard <laughs> to change. But. And it's not that big of a change from the project. No, yeah. it's it's a little easier than Compass Commons. Yes, yeah, it's a little more in the same. Uh, yeah, they're in the same. I got peel back the curtain on that one. We decided on the project name. Uh, Andrew, of course, got gets the project name assigned by marketing. Uh, but we kind of landed on that because we were like, who's going to actually think we're building a gravy boat? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So tell us a little bit more about the specific Vacoma Family Boomerang that we're getting. Yeah, so we're getting the Vacoma Family Boomerang. Um, it is more dynamic than I would venture to say any Family Boomerang out there. So it's got the Holiday World Touch. Mm -hmm. The lift portion of the ride and the station portion of the ride, the Vacoma station portion of the ride are all off the shelf. They are um, you know, the standard. Once you leave the station, it is all custom. So we've added some really cool dynamic elements outside of the station to enhance the ride experience. Um, some of those being the, the giant cranberry can as you leave the station and, and bank off to the what we call the photo garden. Um, adds a, a nice um, feature to the ride. So then you go out through um, some near miss elements of some giant sculptures. Um, I was gonna say, do you want to clarify the photo garden is kind of the, the giant sculptures yeah, that you've yeah. seen in the, the drawings by now, hopefully. Yes, <laughs> what, what, what we've been calling the photo garden internally is, yeah, the, it has the giant sculptures, but it's an area where um, folks can sit that aren't maybe riding the ride, or maybe they're doing a parent swap, or maybe their their children are trying to work their way, work up the courage to go ride the ride. <laughs> so within that area, we have a place structure uh, over plenty of seating, um, shade, fans. We really tried to, to make it a nice, enjoyable area for moms and dads and children, grandma and grandpa to, to sit while others might be riding the ride or whatever the mm -hmm. situation is. So for the ride, um, it, it ends in a, a dead end spike out in the uh, at the end of the circuit that is 
65 feet tall. Questioning whether that's the high part of the ride is, is 75 feet tall. So, um, and then riders will go backwards through the circuit of the ride and through this and in the station where they began. And of course, the most important thing to us when we were looking for a new coaster, new attraction, share with us the height limit. 38 inch height requirement. We're so excited for that. Yes, yes, very important for the whole family to ride. Yeah. It has a max speed of 37 miles an hour. We hope to do over 700 people per hour, which is the theoretical capacity, but that'll add um, good capacity for the Thanksgiving section. So, Absolutely. Um, total length of track is almost 1,400 linear feet, so you travel it twice, so it's really more in the uh, 2,000 linear feet, so mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be a good, good add. Um, and tell us a little bit more, so we've talked a little bit about we're going to have a kids play area. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what went into the planning of that because you were <laughs> very key into figuring out what exactly that was going to look yeah, like. Yeah, so that evolved. Um, at one time we had creatures of Thanksgiving, I think, and the, the fall. So play, play elements that kids could climb on and jump on that were, that were soft, but we had a pumpkin, an apple, a bucket of apples, maybe a deer. And that was really cool, but um, where we landed was a, a more family-oriented play structure where mm -hmm. family um, guardians can sit around and enjoy kind the- Accommodate more people at once. <laughs> yes, yeah, more people at once and also added the, uh, the comfort areas for um, parents to sit and watch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it took a little bit of planning to, yeah. to get that area worked out. But um, I also want to talk about the fact that we went through how many different designs for bathrooms and concrete layouts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we started in, um, we got our first one in October. I remember, I think the collective response across the, the design group was, wow, this is really good. This is really mm -hmm. close. And I have not counted, but we're well over 10, probably 15 iterations of that. Um, I would guess. Maybe more universal than they would know. But um, yeah, so it definitely, we, we took our time fine tuning the, the small details. I think that's, the, that's mm -hmm. what took the most time was yep. the, the, the details. Trying to add capacity, trying to add um, efficiencies for, for folks that are here spending their day and mm -hmm. it can be the, the best experience possible. And it's even little things like Lauren requested stroller parking. Yes, yes, the <laughs> stroller parking is very, um, very cool. So last night I was in the park as a guest with my two kids with a stroller. Stroller parking is important. <laughs> I never knew that until last night. So yes, I think, I think that's a good add. Um, yeah. We have Hopefully we have a, a good wide midways that will be accommodating for, mm -hmm. for uh, large groups or, or all the wagons and strollers. Because and with a lot shorter, a smaller height requirement, you're going to have a little more of that. Yep. Um, so tell me, what's it like to work with vendors on things like giant stuffing boxes and whisks, as well as to straight faced tell a roller coaster manufacturer you want a train to look like a giant gravy boat. <laughs> <laughs> it is different. Um, the vendors are not, they're used to that. So the giant whisk, it's like, oh yeah, that's what yeah. we do. What's funny is you're talking to the concrete contractor or the plumber and he says, what is a rolling pin? Well, you know what a rolling pin is, but you have to explain it, and then they look at you a little bit like you're crazy. Um, I feel like we get to dream this all up in like a room on our own, and then you have to go communicate it with yeah, the world. Yeah, it's... And with serious people like plumbers and people who pour concrete, like, why do I need the path this big? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely some strange looks. There's a lot of, you're kidding, right? That's probably the biggest question. <laughs> you're, you're not serious. but. Back to Vacoma, they, so when we started the Gravy Boat project name, we started going down the road of the Gravy Boat theming. They had not seen our renderings. Mm -hmm. So late in the project, early this spring, I sent them over to R Ricardo and he called me and he's like, hey, is this real? <laughs> yes, this is, wow. And he just kept saying, wow. 
<laughs> and he mentioned that his jaw was on the floor because they're not used to uh, our level of uh, theming. Dedication? Yes, yes, dedicated to that, to the very end. Oh, well, I'm so excited for this project. Um, let's talk a little bit before I let you go about uh, the theming of the actual station because that was, that's a huge part of where our money is going in this oh, yeah. project. Oh yeah. Um, so to refresh our guest memories, just in case you haven't uh, checked out every single resource we have on uh, Good Gravy now, uh, when you go through the station, you'll be going through Grandma's house on Thanksgiving Day. Um, and of course, as you approach the, the line, Grandpa is going to realize that we're out of gravy and we're going to need to get gravy going. So that's when you board the coaster. But um, <laughs> in order to create Grandma's house, I created a story and gave yes. you a year. <laughs> And you and our design company kind of did yeah. the rest. Yeah, well, the, the story was definitely <laughs> the foundation that was needed. Um, I read it and I'm like, whoa. And I think the the design company read it and they were, it was perfect. They, they took off with it and... I don't know, they did such a great job. I mean, they, they did I gave them 1965 yeah. and I mean, everything they yep. found in that design yeah. could not have been found before 1965. Yeah, well, we spent a lot of time specking, they spent a lot yeah. of time specking um, receptacle covers, um, mm -hmm. doorknobs. Um, I mean, just the small details of it, it mm -hmm. has to be 1965. Well, the tile in the bathroom was a modern tile, but it, it, it was going, they were going for the look of 60, 1965. You know, mm -hmm. We had to, we had to go with something that was, yeah. It, you couldn't, you didn't have, they didn't want to debate whether it, it was that era or not. And I think mm -hmm. they did a good job. They did such a nice we job. Have, we have shag carpet, so you know, that's <laughs> definitely that era. So that's exciting. But, um. And the most exciting part of the, the entire queue, of course, is the fact that it's now going to be enclosed. And air conditioned. Yes. Yes, yes. And um, the, the vast majority of the, the queue line, the waiting time will be in a conditioned space. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and I think that's something we hear a lot of. One more spot where you can be comfortable. Yes, yes. I feel like that's the theme of this whole area that's going in is going to be comfort yep. for our guests. No matter if you're riding um, or if you're sitting and watching and waiting for your family to come out. Well, thank you for joining us, Andrew. We'll let you get back yep. because we're still out from announcement day. So you yes, got some work to we do. We do have some work to do. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Gee willikers, that's some good gravy.